the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour is about to come unleashed off turn number four. A head to the line. Green and racing here at New Smyrna. Their pole sitter outside lane, Matt Hirschman, decided to start up top. But Ryan Priest in old blue, number three, works the bottom, settles into second. Third car in line, that's a two-time Stafford Motor Speedway track champion into the SK Modified division. Ronnie Williams driving the 50 tonight. You know, Joe, it appears that McKennedy can almost change his line anytime he wants. As he can run the high side, but here's a bit for the lead. First lead change. They come back to the line. At the stripe, it is still Matt Hirschman. But there's Priest again, down low. Well, Priest is looking up ahead. He sees Ken Hagee in the number 18 of the preferred line that Matt Hirschman wants. He'll use Hagee as a pick, go down to the bottom lane of the racetrack, and Matt Hirschman now settles back into second. So new leader here on lap number seven. Here comes John. Ryan Priest out in front. John McKennedy now working down to the inside lane. He'll car down to the inside lane. I think it's Matt Kimball in the Mendoza owned modified that has brought that caution out. His car pointed in the wrong direction just to the inside of turn number two. The pit road is open. First car in is going to be the three of Ryan Priest. And you see the crew go to work around the right side. You can see on our camera the different lugs, how wide they are on that left front. You see the crew going to work on the right side. Most everybody is on pit road. Remember, you can take tires or fuel only. Car number 24 to the inside, Andrew Krause. But it is Ronnie Silk who chose the upper lane. While that was happening, just as we went to green, the 64 car of Austin Beers made its presence known. That's the Ron Uhouse prepared car that Mike Murphy owned. He's up on the top side of the racetrack. Meanwhile, it is still car 16 for Silk, the leader. Here comes Priest again. To be the Puts battle the card. For the fourth spot. Yep, to the inside. They touch. They come together. Rouse hits at a ton on the inside wall. And Ryan Priest goes around. What a heartbreaker is the number 24 machine of Andrew Krause. Back to the strike they come. And it is Silk still in command. Meanwhile, down to the inside. Here comes Austin Beers. Right there, tap to the bumper. Ronnie Williams, car number 50. The Empire Financial Group car making a bid for second. Everybody a little loose coming off the turn. Yeah, among them, the 64 of Austin Beers. Relative new driver to the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour. Young driver, son of Eric Beers, who has won championships here at this racetrack. Meanwhile, trouble in the back straightaway. Five, six, seven, eight. They're still piling in on a multi-car incident here. Midway down the back straightaway. 149 laps complete. It's going to be Ronnie Silk, the race leader, to the outside lane. Michael Christopher, much better on this start. Last time he spun the tires, he's able to keep pace with the 16. Oh, he drifts up the hill just a bit. Moves up, out of line. All of a sudden, here comes Matt Hirschman. We told you before, this guy is as smooth as glass. Matt Hirschman, the PD Motorsports car, quickly moves into the catbird seat, setting in second. While Young and... Up front, Matt Hirschman looks to the bottom, trying to take over the top spot. Dominated early from the pole. Now he wants to get to the inside. Christopher up high. Hirschman puts the wheel out ahead. While that is happening right there, running in his tire tracks to the bottom of the racetrack, here comes Eric Goodale. Riverhead Building Supply, GAF, looking racy. Christopher trying to guard his lane in the upper groove. Here comes Goodale. They're side by side. Here comes Silk. Four cars under a blanket as they come back to the strike. Silk has recovered nicely. These cars have not been able to drive away as he gets a little bit of heat in those tires. Now we start to even close in back on Michael Christopher as Matt Hirschman drives away with the race lead. The battle's for second. Goodale, 58 inside. Seven New York. Outside is Michael Christopher Jr. They work their magic coming off turn number four down into turn number one. Side by side. Here comes Goodale. Inch by inch, he picks up the spot. But Michael Christopher continues to dig in. In the Florida Connection, Stewart's Automotive Machine. Here comes Silk. Trying to make some noise to the inside. Can't do it. The door is closed. Goodale is there. And now Silk has the opportunity. 
but Michael Christopher. Slide, Matt Hirschman comes across the line. One to go for Hirschman. He'll come to lap 200 this time by. Did not see the white flag wave from the flag stand, but the scoreboard showing one to go. Now the white flag is out. Hirschman up off turn number four, looking for the checkered flag and the win to open the 2022 campaign. Matt Hirschman wins in New Smyrna.